Hey everybody, Josh here. I am a cybersecurity professional and I teach a hands-on cloud security course where we build a mini SOC as well as a HoneyNet in Azure. And among other things, we practice incident response against live attack traffic on the internet. And today I'm gonna to talk about the internship program that's available to students taking the course. I'm gonna quickly go over why I made the program, what you'll be doing inside the program, what you can expect to get out of it, and then how you can apply to it. I have been trial running this program for a few months now and I've actually provided phone and email references for probably five students by now and they've actually gotten hired so I figured I would refine the program a bit and kind of make it public which is why you're seeing this video today. So getting into why exactly I made this internship program. Just as a disclaimer the internship is unpaid and it's purely designed for the benefit of the student in terms of education and extra experience to go on their resume. Basically everybody trying to get into cybersecurity probably knows this by now but we're facing a large catch-22 issue in our industry where you kind of need experience in order to actually get a job and get experience. According to BLS there's a whole bunch of cybersecurity jobs available and the industry is growing year over year, but there's a lack of skilled professionals with actual experience on the resume who can fill these positions. My cybersecurity course itself is designed to give you a lot of experience when it comes to actually executing security and kind of building your intuition around how security works. But the actual internship itself is designed to give you that quote unquote experience that goes on your resume that employers like to see so much. And we'll kind of show you what that looks like in just a second. So getting into what you'll actually be doing once you start the internship. I try to be very transparent about everything, so I'll do my best to not leave anything out. But basically, the course itself is very technical and it's delivered in Microsoft Azure, which is Microsoft's cloud platform, and it tends to generate a lot of questions from the students. The questions could be anything from trying to log into a virtual machine to configuring logging for something to querying some logs in the SIM or generating an alert in the SIM. Could be anything. There's just a lot of questions from a lot of students. And the cybersecurity course itself does have a Discord community with close to a thousand students in it. There'll probably be over a thousand by the time you're watching this. But inside of the Discord, there's a homework help channel where people go to ask their questions. When you become an intern, you will add yourself to a special group in Discord called Josh Plus Interns. And then when people have questions about security configs or something, instead of tagging me directly, they tag Josh Plus Interns. And then whoever's in that group will actually get a notification. Then whoever Whoever happens to be on at the time can provide assistance to the student requesting help. After you provide assistance and help them to solve their issue, you'll kind of record what you did in this assistance tracking spreadsheet. You'll put the date, the topic that you assisted them with, as well as a link to the Discord thread where you helped them. In terms of like time and stuff like this, it's completely flexible. It's remote, obviously, because it's done over Discord. And I, I don't set a schedule for people like you gotta be on between nine and five. You just rely on your notifications to kind of assist people when you have time. And then once you have 10 assists, all you have to do is email us with the email specified on the assist tracking spreadsheet. We'll go through all the links in your spreadsheet and kind of check your work. And then I'll provide you with my personal details to use me as a personal reference. Reference. You'll also be able to put an experience entry on your resume that looks something like this. And depending on how many assists you got, you can kind of give yourself different titles. So for example, zero to 10 would be cybersecurity support technician, 11 to 20 support analyst, 21 to 30 or more would be cybersecurity support engineer. And then this is what one of the actual assists tracking spreadsheet looks like when it's filled out. And this is from an actual person, an actual student filled this out and they just got a job two weeks ago. It says, this is the last spreadsheet I've dealt with. Um, their employer actually, they didn't call me this time, they just emailed me this thing to fill out and I filled it out and provided a reference for them and they, they just got hired like relatively soon after that. But basically you can kind of see what this looks like. This person assisted with all of these different things over the course of a few months. Um, you know, the date, the thing they assisted with and the actual link in Discord for it. So for example, um, to check these, like we would, for example, copy one of these, you can just click it and then um, it will try to open a browser, but I'll, I'll show you what it looks like inside of Discord. So this is kind of my scratch channel. Um, this is the actual Discord server with a homework help channel and stuff. So, uh, so for example, if I paste this link in here, this is how I check people's work. I can click on this and it will just um, immediately go to the area where that person started assisting the person with. So we see this guy, it's like, hey guys, my Linux server is not appearing in my data collection rules, blah, blah, blah. And then this person uh, actually went through and started helping them. They resolved their issue and then they just kind of put the um, entry in here. And then this person in particular ended up getting, it looks like 20 assists. So they probably put on the resume cybersecurity support analyst. You know, I provided the reference and then they 
well, sorry, I, I hit my mic and then they um, they got hired in the end. So basically getting into how to apply for the internship. So to do this, you just need to be a student of the course, go through the whole course and then graduate. At the end, you'll have to take and pass an assessment. The assessment just consists of different topics that are covered in the course different security configurations and stuff that people tend to have problems with. You pass that assessment and then you'll be given this kind of internship assist tracking template. The template has some basic stuff you have to read and agree to. You agree to this by sharing it out with the email that's on there. And then at this point, you're technically considered an intern and you're free to kind of assist people and collect those experiences on your spreadsheet. And I know someone's gonna ask me this, is a job guaranteed if I do this? And like, of course, like no, like nothing is guaranteed in this life. But I am very good at job hunting and getting people jobs in IT and cybersecurity. And if you happen to go through the course and execute on everything in the way I kind of describe it, you're gonna come out of it with like a superhuman ability to interview, a very nice resume, a good portfolio, some nice hands-on skills, some free certifications that you can pick up along the way. And it's just gonna make you like really, really good candidate. And it's gonna make it much easier for you to find a job in IT and cybersecurity than it would otherwise. So no, nothing is guaranteed, but this will make you a very, very good candidate. And a lot of people have gotten jobs with this already. If you want more information about what's in the actual course, I'm very transparent about it. So just check the link in the pinned comment. Feel free to ask any questions down below and yeah, we'll see you in the next video, hopefully in Discord.